of my playthrough of Metroid Prime Remastered. And in the last episode, we finally unlocked the space boots, which give us the double jump. And because of that, we've been waiting for that upgrade for quite a while. I am going to go back to the ruins. And there, I'm going to just clean up anything that I missed. Well, anything I didn't have access to. But uh, this is something I've been waiting for for several episodes, so glad that we finally made it happen. Also, because I keep forgetting and saying at the end of the video, which is like 40 minutes in, and ideally, a lot of you will be asleep and never make it to that point. If that's why you're watching this, I usually watch ASMR to sleep. Um, if you do enjoy these videos and you want me to make more, please like and subscribe. If you don't like them and don't want me to make more, dislike and uh, leave a comment, a mean comment to discourage me from making any more. Mostly kidding, but if there's something you don't like about these videos, please let me know so I can make them better. But yeah, a like and a subscribe would be greatly appreciated if you're enjoying my content so far. Also, I, again, said this in other videos, I don't know if people are going to watch this in order or not, but uh, I'm trying to get 25 videos built up before I upload, so I'm saying all this, this could be a month. I could be recording this month before it actually comes out. But I plan to put affiliate links to the gear that I'm using in the description, so... Shit, did not mean to do that. So if you're in the market for a microphone or a microphone stand or audio interface, monitor, Nintendo Switch, anything like that, and you want to support the channel, please check out those affiliate links. Again, it won't cost you anything extra. Same price on Amazon. It just I get a little, little piece of the sale for referring you to that. So those should be in my videos by the time I upload them. If they're not, comment on the video and call me lazy because I should put those in there. But yeah. Getting all that out of the way, since I always forget. Wanted to make sure to start off with that, even though it makes me feel kind of lame and cheesy. But yeah, we finally have the double jump. We have the speed boost. We should be able to access some new things in this area. And I cannot hit that thing to save my life. Can I? jump up there yet, but uh, there's this half pipe, which, okay, come at me, god, this A button is still sticking, I need to stick to the trigger, enemies that you have to get behind to kill are kind of annoying. Nice. What are we up to? Are we at 50 now? Nice we are. There has to be some other upgrades here that I haven't accessed yet as well. Let's see. Something there, but that looks like that might require a beam or something. the 
swear there's some other stuff. Did that thing just disappear? Looks like we need the grappling hook for a couple other things. This double jump is sick. surges of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceed our expectations. We, Choso, have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and wait for the day when a power to purify the poison appears. However, it is already impossible. However, it is already impossible to collect all the pieces of the great poison as it has already spread seeping into the planet and hardening. So it sounds as if Flagara, or whatever its name was, was just the beginning, or is just a part of the poison. Oh, I just remembered an area I can go to. That water area with the space pirates, I needed the double jump for that. And so the backtracking in this portion begins again. There's, uh, nope. Okay. Yeah, I need the grappling hook. Okay. At least this wasn't as big of a pain in the ass. Again, I really apologize for anyone that's actually played and beat this game before. This must be super frustrating to watch. Also, I started working on the thumbnails for my Metroid videos today. The thumbnail for the first one in of uh, making a template so I can easily pump out thumbnails for future videos. Okay, that does not work. Is it this way? Yeah, I think it's that one. Um, so yeah, I started working on the thumbnail templates and stuff. So, I hope, hope they look good. Uh, I'm not like a super professional graphic designer, but I am decent at graph. I'm, I'd say I'm above average, but I'm not like great. I've only done a little bit of paid work for graphic design. So, they're not like, well, I'm still not done. I need to touch some things up. Don't think they're going to be like, the most amazing, mind-blowing, 
thumbnails you've ever seen, but hopefully they'll be decent. But yeah, again, I am always super open to feedback. So if you're like, those thumbnails look like something that a senior citizen made for a Facebook meme, please let me know so I can change them and I don't look like a chump. I don't know, I just used that language in those examples, those are weird, but yeah. Again, if anything seems off or wrong or can be improved, please let me know because obviously you're going to have blind spots learning as I go. I've never done an ASMR channel before or really any YouTube channel, so this is all pretty new to me. So any blind spots that you can help me um, help me fix would be super appreciated. And in the end, it should just result in a better product for you. So it's kind of a win-win. Okay, I am definitely going the wrong way. I need to go this way. starting to come together. I still need to... Wow, those things respawn fast. I still need to put the channel together. I gotta make a header. I have a channel built, but it's been sitting for a little while now, because I, like, built it and haven't done anything with it, and then I saw that, like, you should... One piece of advice I read said that you should, um upload five videos right off the bat as soon as you make the channel. So I might delete the channel and restart over when I'm ready to upload the videos. But it's all starting to come together. But if you're watching this, that means um, I made the channel and uh, I have a decent amount of videos uploaded. So this is all past stuff. Again, I don't know if this is like super boring. I don't know if anyone wants to actually hear the behind the scenes of me building this channel. You'd rather just have me shut up about that and only talk about the games. Totally get that. Oh shit. There's a uh, also, this thing was not down here before. A gel sap aquatic predator made of electrical bound skeletal halves. The gel sap brain is located in the upper half of its body. While the heart and digestive tract occupy the lower half, linked only by an electrical, by electrical impulses, the two halves somehow function effectively enough to launch the jet lap to the top of Talon for his aquatic food chain. Top of the food chain, my ass. This does answer my question I asked a couple episodes if there's any underwater environments in this game does appear that there is, which makes sense. I couldn't imagine them adding underwater and not utilizing it at all. Let me guess, I can't open it with this weapon. Classic. scan it will it tell me nope mm, well class 
classic, classic backtracking to a dead end. Well, I guess it's back to the ice area I go. say why did I even leave the ice area in the first place, but just remembered that the jump boots were in this area. Okay. So I go back to the magma caverns. Back to the magma caverns again. And then to the ice area. I must have done more backtracking in this game than is than the average person, I would have to guess. There's no way you're supposed to to backtrack this much. Again, I hope most people are coming to this channel for the tingles and the whisper commentary and not do watch an expert gamer. Because if you're coming to watch someone get through this, this game very quickly and efficiently, you're going to be sadly disappointed. Oh, there's my old friend. I forgot about you. God, I love that double jump. What do I get? And now I get to deal with my favorite thing, those freaking auto turrets. Also, I swear some gum chewing videos are coming. I just, uh, I tend to make these videos either early in the morning or late at night when I'm drinking tea. And, uh, I usually don't chew gum at the same time that I drink tea. Um, yeah, and I do intermittent fasting. And I think that gum might have just enough calories or sugar to break a fast. So that's why I don't really chew gum at night. And then I don't typically chew gum first thing in the... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm just sitting here talking about freaking chewing gum and then I burn alive. But I think it's a pretty normal thing to not chew gum first thing in the morning. That's my hot take right there. If you chew gum first thing in the morning, you're totally in the minority. Not even what I'm saying right now. Again, a lot of times when I watch ASMR videos, I completely like zone out on what they're saying a lot of the time and they're and just kind of processing that there's a whispering going on and getting the tingles so hopefully for all that stupid stuff I just said you're zoned out and just focusing on the whisper aspect of my commentary also be interested in the comments I feel like I get desensitized ASMR. I feel like if I listen to it a lot, or I don't even know why, I kind of just feel like in general I've almost built up a tolerance to it. But I feel like, um, yeah, I don't really get the tingle 
sensation now as much as I have previously. Like, I feel like I used to get it really intense. And, uh, recently it just, I don't know, I still enjoy it. I kind of just like falling as like, growing up, I used to be someone that always fall asleep with the TV on. Like, I'd watch TV until I'd go to sleep, and then I'd kind of, like, rest my eyes during the commercial breaks until eventually I'd fall asleep, which I've heard that sleeping with the TV on is not great for your sleep quality, but whatever. I always grew up doing that, so I don't sleep like college. Kind of helped break me of that habit because my roommate was not a TV sleeper my freshman year. And uh, I ate conflict for the most part, meaningless conflict at least, and I kind of knew it was a bad habit. So I don't sleep with the TV anymore. But anyway, that's a long way of saying I don't really like to sleep in silence. I go through phases where I'll just sleep in silence, but recently I've got back into an ASMR phase. Um, but yeah, I feel like I build up a tolerance and it's not, I don't get the tingles quite as intensely. And would be interested to hear um, if anyone else has a similar experience where they kind of build up a tolerance to it. Collapsible suspension bridge is functional but lacks power. This is a standard spinner device. The generator belts of the spinner can be activated by rapid rotational force. Use the boost ability of the morph ball when inside a spinner to activate the device. Nice new little thing for me to use. encountered that or like figured out a way to I guess reset their tolerance or they're like I typically listen to female ASMR artists and um, let's see predator activity analyze predator increase in That main chapel of the elders, rising predator activity. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Um, but I typically listen to female ASMR artists that like whisper. And I don't know, I like talking. I don't just like, oh my god. Maybe I need to focus on the game instead of talking about my ASMR habits. But if you're listening to this, I'm assuming you're into ASMR and maybe. You have a higher chance than the average person of being interested in ASMR talk, but this might also be super boring. But yeah, I listen. I don't really like when people just like repeat words and stuff like that and go for the triggers. I kind of like talking. I'm not like super into like the role play videos, but I'm not like opposed to them if it's. I just like the right voice right like whispering voice and uh, prefer female but sometimes there'll be a male voice like there have been some male videos that are really good as well um, but yeah so if you've like built up a tolerance you're like oh I like typically listen to this type of video but if I build up a tolerance I like switch to a different trigger and after like a few weeks or a few months, I can go back to the original one and kind of have the initial intense feelings. I don't know if this is making any sense, but yeah, any any tips I'd love to hear or just about your sleep habits or what ASMR content you like. Totally down to read anyone's thoughts about ASMR and sleeping. I wouldn't say I find it, like, super interesting, but nice Chosa artifact acquired. 
this is the artifact of strength, the second of twelve. Um, I wouldn't say I find like sleep super interesting, but I've always kind of struggled with sleep. I, it's once I fall asleep, I don't have a problem, and I can usually also fall back asleep very easily. But the falling asleep part is sometimes hard for me. And I usually attribute it to just like trying to go to bed too early. Like I'm very much a late night person, but that doesn't always work with my schedule, so I'll force myself to go to bed earlier than I would if I had like 100% freedom of how the world was scheduled, if that makes any sense. Like, I would preferably like to go to bed at 2 or 3 every morning, but that's very late. And even though I do have reasonable control of my schedule since I work from home, getting up at 10 or 11 is not, I don't know, wouldn't work super great. So I make myself go to bed earlier, which is still around 11 say between 11.30 and 1, typically around midnight is when I try to go to bed. And uh, I fall asleep because I'm not really that tired yet. Again, I'm kind of just rambling here, but I guess I guess my rambles are a thing. But yeah, so if anyone has any like sleep tips that have worked for them, I'd always be down to hear those because I'm always kind of trying to find things that will work better. I was reading a lot more, but well, I, I still am reading quite a bit before bed, but I, uh, before a week or two ago, once I started recording these videos, I really haven't played video games regularly in well over a year, so I was reading before bed, and I think that was helping, but now I'm kind of playing these games up to pretty close, like, basically up until I get in bed and then read for like 20 minutes or half an hour and then try to go to bed, which I don't think is ideal for sleep, but whatever. Nothing can be perfect. I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. I'm just rambling about my bad sleep habits. But if you have any insight, aside from don't look at screens before you go to bed, because I know I shouldn't be doing that, but I just ignore it. Um, would love to hear any tips. I love hearing what works for other people, and I'm, like, very open to trying things out. I think I'm, like, super high on, I can't remember what the exact trait is called, but, like, I really like novelty, and I'm very open to new experiences and things, so if you have any tips that have helped increase your quality of sleep, Feel free to drop it in the comments for me. Okay, can I... Fuck. I feel like I can make that jump. I feel like I was just one step... ...too far. Okay. I just freaking kill these things. Okay. Fuck. I know I can make that one. I've already made that without the double jump. for 
specific ones are not doing a very good job surviving here.
actually figured that out without being confused for 10 minutes. I'm proud of myself. The statue's hands seem to be frozen in place. I wonder if I will unlock the flamethrower soon. Also, I've mentioned this in previous videos, but again, I don't know I don't know if everybody is going to watch every video. But uh, if you hear like a weird kind of almost gurgle sound or I take or I like pause when I'm reading, I don't I wouldn't call it like a disability or disorder, I mean, definitely not disability, um, but I, like, can't really burp, I burp probably less than 10 times a year, it's been, like, increasing as I've got older, but I still burp maybe five or six times a year, like, less than once a month, typically, but instead, I feel like I get these, like, weird throat gurgle noises, which I hate, especially as, like, a musician performing and singing. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, so I try to move away from the mic when I feel one coming up. Again, it's, like, a very minor thing, but still very annoying. And, uh, yeah, so that's that, just so you know. Also, drop in the comments if you have a similar thing. I've met it's usually at weddings, surprisingly, like at almost every wedding I've gone to of like, I don't even know why I tell people about this, but it usually comes up maybe because I'm like, I don't like drinking carbonation because I, I can't burp and then I either like feel bloated or get these weird throat noises the whole time. But I've met almost every wedding I've gone to, I've met one other person that has a similar thing. And then once at a bar, I met someone that has the same thing, so. If you've seen Arrested Development, I like to make the joke and say there are dozens of us. Um, but yeah, don't know what it is. Kind of want to talk to a doctor now that I'm getting into singing. I wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't do any surgery or anything, but yeah, it's kind of annoying. So if you hear any weird noises, I'm not like burping or anything. Not that there's any problem with that, but yeah, it's just those weird throat gurgles. And I might explain that again in future videos again. I don't, I think I've mentioned in one or two other videos, but just so people understand and uh, maybe to make you feel less alone or awkward if you also deal with it. There are dozens of us. definitely makes combat way better. Well, those are the babies. I'm assuming this is the mama. I should probably scan this thing if I can do it without dying. She got the supreme predator of the Pentrana Drifts. She got her invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystals on their back absorb energy, which they can fire at prey. She got have poor stamina. They hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. The soft underbelly of a she Goth is susceptible to the concussive blasts in battle. They expel blasts of frigid gas to ensnare their targets. They're also fond of ramming and trampling their hapless prey. Well, let's 
see how this goes. So I'll need to shoot it in the mouth and the belly and not use beam weapons. Okay. And not get packed into a, a corner. your breath. That did not seem like it did much damage. Is there like an upgrade or my rocket launcher will shoot faster? Because that would be super useful. Where's this thing at health? missiles. Whoa, oh no. Missing something. How did that thing know to activate after I killed that? Let's see, nice is this. Well, I'm not going to go out of my way to backtrack. Let's see if any obvious things... Any obvious things bring me back to previous areas. Well, it's cool that I can kill those things now. sec.
this area to deal with, not two of them, that's a bit annoying. Oh wow, I'm already at 46 minutes. Guess I should go to the save room and wrap this one up. Bye.